Hi! Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 5 cheapest countries to travel from India. So before starting this video make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel to join our family. It's a great feeling to be bitten by the travel bug, but it can also be pricey. Globetrotting is the fantasy of a lot of people. They may be discouraged from making it a reality, unfortunately, because travel is always perceived to be costly. How will you see the world in your budget without burning a hole? Is flying on a budget possible? Number 1. Nepal. This Himalayan country promises mountains, spirituality, and scenic beauty. Many Indians choose Nepal because unlike other countries you do not need a passport here. Pashupatinath Temple the city's oldest Hindu temple, and the Buddhanath Stupa, one of the oldest Buddhist temples, are tourist hotspots. How to reach? The round-trip flight from New Delhi to Kathmandu could cost approximately 11,000 if booked a month in advance. If your budget is around 25 to 30k, Nepal is one of the best destinations. Where to stay? A decent hostel room will cost you anywhere between 1,000 to 2,000. What to do? All range of options is at your disposal wildlife sanctuary, temples, monasteries. Trekking in the world's highest peak Mount Everest base camp is a must do. Number 2. Vietnam. One of the best places for backpackers all around the world. This is also one of the cheapest countries to travel from India. With ample natural beauty, its rich heritage, and history you are bound to return with a soul satisfied. Hoi An, Vietnam. How to reach? The round-trip flights to Ho Chi Minh City from Delhi is around 25,000, if planned two months in advance. The airfare has increased of late due to the coronavirus pandemic, but is likely to come down after. Where to stay? You can avail a decent hotel for about 3,000 per night. What to do? Sightseeing, yacht or boat cruises, local market tours, caving, cultural tour, island tours, wildlife tours. Number 3. Bhutan. Who would not visit a country which publishes its happiness index? Bhutan offers guaranteed happiness and passport-free travel to Indians. With a vast expanse of unexplored terrain and breathtaking natural beauty, Bhutan is a must-visit. How to reach? Catch a domestic flight to Bagdagra Airport which is the nearest airport to the Bhutan border. The round trip can cost 4,000 onwards. Take a 5-hour bus journey ahead which could cost approximately 1,900. Where to stay? Decent hotels will cost around anywhere 2,500. If you go for homestays it will be around 1,000 to 1,200. What to do? Cultural tours, local sightseeing, Himalayan tour, treks, adventure sports and activities, religious tours and wildlife tours. The Dramatsi mask dance with colorful costumes depicting demons, heroes, gods, and animals should not be missed as it is UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. Number 4. Sri Lanka. Our southern neighbor is one to reckon with, when it comes to selecting a country for your international trip. With the Ramayana and Buddhist connection, there is a significant cultural pull for visitors from India. With beautiful and peaceful beaches it can be a top choice. How to reach? Take a flight from Bangalore and land at Colombo Airport and it could cost you just 15,000. Where to stay? You can get a decent hotel around 1,000 to 1,500. Reduce your cost by staying at hostels at just 400 per night. What to do? Heritage tours, religious visits, art and culture tours, water adventure sports, wildlife tours, plantation. Number 5. Myanmar. Myanmar lets you experience the simple pleasures of life. Like a drift down the river in a cruiser, trek through the pine forests of Shan Hills, play on the beach of the blissful Bay of Bengal. Scattered landscape with pagodas in the traditional ways, that's Myanmar in short. Myanmar sees a lot of visitors at Inli Lake that offers spectacular terrains for cycling. How to reach? The round trip to the country could cost you approximately 37,000, 
if booked three to four months in advance. Where to stay? Get a decent hotel for around 1,800 to 2,200. What to do? Hot air balloon rides, cultural and historical tours, nature walks, local shopping and food tours. Comment below and let us know, what do you think about our list? If this video was helpful, please like the video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.